Hello world, it is Tuesday, July, uh, July January 17th, 2023, and looking out the window at Defiance, it's uh, it's trying to be a nice day. The sun's starting to come out this morning, and uh, I think it's going to be mostly cloudy later in the afternoon, but um, high in the upper 40s. The devotion for today is entitled Lesson of the Flowers by Kaji Dosha, and Kaji bases the devotion upon the first letter of Peter, Chapter 1, verse 24b through 25a, New Revised Standard Version. The grass withers and the flower falls, but the word of the living God abides forever. And then Kaji writes. A flower produces pollen, and something helps it move. If the pollen reaches a receptive flower, it pollinates, and maybe it'll fertilize. And then maybe it forms a seed. A lot has to happen right for this little vessel of potential life to come about. Then the seed has to go. It can't stay where it was because if it did, the new life would compete with the old. So instead, the flowering plant depends on others to get those seeds moving to a new place. Suitable ground allows that seed to break open. Only in that opening can the seed grow. The opening is called germination. Then it must dig roots. Roots pick up those essential life elements, water, nutrients to grow. Only when the root structure is sufficient is the plant ready to produce a shoot and emerge from the soil. That shoot turns into a stem which carries the nutrients up from the earth as the plant starts to reach towards the light. From the stem, the plant grows leaves which pull in the light and turn it into sugar. And as they do, they release oxygen. That's photosynthesis. And when the time is right and the plant reaches a certain point of maturity, it's ready to develop its beautiful flower, which is where the process starts again. A mature plant is productive and moves through these cycles as long as its own life continues. But its seeds endure, as do their seeds, as do you. And the prayer. May my soul dance to the flower's rhythm, O God. Amen. Well, a couple things this devotion reminds me of is that um, life continues. Things that we work on or hope for in our life um, may not come to fruition in our life or even our children's lives, but maybe our grandchildren's lives or their children or grandchildren's life. It's a continuum that um, requires us to continue doing the work, knowing that we may never see the, the completion or the end or the change or whatever it is we're working for, but just confident that the life will go on. The other thing that this devotion reminded me of is how interdependent we are upon one another. Because with the flower, uh, of course, pollinators, bees, butterflies, bats, um, different kinds of insects, and even sometimes different animals rubbing up against flowers and rubbing up against flowers, um, create um, or move the pollen and create the fertilization that happens. Um, and then the same goes with seeds and the distribution of seeds. The seeds are distributed in so many different ways um, by so many different animals and insects and birds. Um, and landing in different ground and the soil has to be just right for the plant to grow and to flourish. And that's really our life as well. We can plant seeds <clears throat> not knowing whether they'll ever grow, but hoping for the future uh, and dependent upon someone else to pick up the work uh, when from the seed that we've planted or new life emerging in someone else because of a seed we planted in their life. The world is an interconnected, complex place, um, and so is the love of God. It's all dependent upon each of us uh, doing our part, um, knowing that we may not see the fruition of our work, but that it will continue, um, and we continue for as long as we have time in this life to do and then it's passed on to the seeds that we have planted. 
Hope you have a good day. Hope you can enjoy some of this sunshine this morning and uh, hope to talk to you again tomorrow.